M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've downloaded the Pocket RX TX here, which you'll see in a sec. It's on the Play Store and it's the plus version where you, it's £4.49 and it should work on the ICOM 705 and the Zygu X6100 G90 and other radios. I thought I'd try it out here first on the X6100, so we went into settings and turned on Bluetooth. So we just go settings, go to Bluetooth with the MFK knob, push it, and turn it on, it will search, and then we'll just swipe down on the phone, Bluetooth, there it is there where it's paired, done. So it's paired, and it says here, paired, and that's my Galaxy 21 that I'm on now. Okay, so we can exit now. Like so, so all, it's all paired. Now we'll tap the app. Now the app will work long way, so we'll just turn it long ways like so. So we can tune that a bit better. Now my problem is that it's, it's not finding it in Bluetooth, so we'll go Bluetooth, and it says name and Mac, and then configuration. If I click search, Bluetooth device is found nearby. Ah, it's just found it. Right, let's try again. That's better. Click OK. And then do we do start? wait for the frequency to show so we push the start here long press on or off so I'll do long press at least it found it that time it didn't find it before so it's saying hold your finger on the red button to turn it on I've noticed that the Bluetooth symbol has vanished from the Zygo so I might go back in and try and reconnect. Let's hold my finger on it. Connecting to Bluetooth. Set to lowest frequency available. It's working, that's good news. So let's uh, have a little play with these settings. I did have the speaker plugged in before, so I'll plug that in and see if that affects anything. But now I can see the Bluetooth emblem is there. It's there in the little corner there. So let's go to my favorite band. So we'll hit band here. And we'll go 40 meters. Yeah, that's good. Working well, then let's tune. Tuning, and I wonder if we can fine tune. Okay, let's go back. We'll learn back. It's just a G90 up there. We've got memories that we can store. VFO, split. I want to know how to move this along. Yeah, so we, because at the moment we're fine tuning. Oh, we've lost our screen now. Not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> Oh, there it's come back now. I did press this speaker thing here. So maybe it's as good as the the connection that you've got. Let's tune it. LSB, yeah. Okay. Type one in seven dot one eight zero zero. Get this one here. It's just working PTT. Now just now the PTT did work. Oh, it does work, yeah. You have to hold your finger on it. Power. Well, we're not going to get 20 watts. 
It's only a 10 watt radio. Split. On off. Yeah, I can see that changing up here. Preamp. Yeah, noise blanker. Yeah, it's quite good that we can do that without pushing all these buttons. Attenuator, that's working. Okay. And I prefer an external speaker anyway. Noise blanker off. On. I know it's noise reductions on. I don't remember turning that on. AGC. Auto slow. Yeah. Let's hit a memory channel. Well, there's none in there at the moment. Let's add a memory, so we'll go memory edit, channel 1, well, we have got a memory in there, so maybe you have to store using this system. Mode, now yeah, that's USB, LSB, AM. So that's our main thing is how do we go faster and slow oh you can hold your finger here all right okay that's good so that's a much bigger tune and then you fine tune like that i'm going to plug in the head the speaker and see if that makes if that affects it <laughs> Because it sounds so much nicer on a Zygu X6100 with a speaker. Make sure you plug it in the bottom one. SP7 Icom. So let's find the, the tune button. PTT, on off, band, what does this mean, FN here, oh, it's, is that fine tune, looks the same, Yeah, let's keep looking. If we hold down the red, we're off. Hold down the red again. Connect. I notice at the moment the blue. The blue is gone, the blue that was up here. Will that come back? Still connected there. I need to see what these M ones are, so I'll hold them down. Oh, you can name it. So you hold memory one, name. Turn that down a bit. Name it CH1. CHQ1 now. Done. We've named it. Okay, so we've now got oh, it does show the the memory name here. So let's go to let's go how do you come out of memory? If we all VFO memory we want. There's VFO. Our VFO A and B. That's definitely working. Yeah, I think it's quite good, really. Split. These aren't lit, but we're not in split mode. If we put split on. So, split on. Yeah, so I wonder if you can add things to that, to those windows.
It does allow you to sort of fine tune, doesn't it? So that's probably a good thing. Let's just go. You know, the very fine here. Although I'm not seeing that on the radio, I'm seeing it on the app. What's the, that's the mute. What does this do? Select parameters to be read. Frequency. Mode. SWR. Click OK. What's this here? Call sign out. You've got some sort of logbook, have we? M zero. Okay. So that you can, you basically can store things. How do you save it? And to come out, what do we press? You can put a comment. And that we've lost our screen again, so that's interesting. But there's a couple of glitches. Let me see if I can come back out. Yeah, I came out by hitting save. Still learning, as you know. Let's do it again. And the screen did go black when we did it, so hit that. You put in the contact you've had, and then you click save. Oh, yeah, no record saved, so let's just put, put that for now. Save, and then it call save to call log. So there must be a log there somewhere. Look for a button that says log. Let's check, see what this speaker does. It's not the greatest connection. Let me hit it, see what it does. Now if I move the frequency on the actual radio, does it follow? Yes. Yes, it does follow the radio. Let's disconnect again because we've got that interference noise. Hold down the red. It's a bad connection. No, it's actually, I can hear it on the radio. Let's go back in, hold the red. Connect, connected over Bluetooth, even though we're still not seeing the, the Bluetooth logo, but it is connected. Mode. Power. The one I want to see is the tuner. I'm just going to see if I can find tuner in a minute. Okay, and I noticed on one connection, if we try and back out, I can't find a tuner at the moment. If someone's found a tuner, let me know. Found this thing. Don't actually know what that does. Plus and minus. That's quite good, the plus. I like the plus and minus. Nice, fast. And you can hear, it doesn't mute. We know that's good. If I come out, com try and come out completely. We, we, should we change to, I've noticed one is the G108. Let's see if I can change. Go back out. See if it lets me. Options. It's got call log. My QRZ. Oh, you can put in your, you know, your web address of your QRZ. Enter your user password. And it logs you in. What else we got here? System. A few things there. Font size vibrate. Help. About what I want to do is come out completely and go back in as the other radio, the, Z the Zygu is it G108. I've seen that on the options. So, okay, that's enough for this video. We'll have another, we'll do another video with other tinkering. I'm curious to know if I, uh, if the 
vibration sound stop. So what I'm going to do is before we go, I'm just going to go the system and turn off the Bluetooth. See if that crackly sound goes. MFK. And I look at that and it actually says that the Bluetooth is off, even though it. Do you remember it was still working? If I go start again, does it turn it back on? Uh, oh yeah, look, when you start. Right, let's hold down the red. Connecting, let's exit here. And it's connected fine. Still got that crackling noise. It could be something local in my home. What would be good, if we could hear it from the actual phone, yeah, then that would give us a way of hearing the audio via Bluetooth. That would be good, wouldn't it? Because if, if you can do all of this, why can't we hear the audio via a headset? So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, 7.3, all the best. And uh, here's the setup. I'll put a link for the app. The app is from the Play Store. And uh, yeah, having great fun with the, the Zygu. And I'm going to test this next this app next on this 705 as well. Bye for now, 73.